Sorry, Debbie Abominable. Tell me exactly what happened exactly at the night of the incident. Hmm. Oh, anyway. I was just getting ready for prom. Oh, and I was casually walking down the road when Jackie Laura, of course, had to be in my way. Oh, today's prom, and I'm on my way to the school. Nothing will go wrong today. Oh, hello, Abby. I'm going to beat you up. What? is my story and that's All right. completely true. All right, Jackie Laura, please walk up to the other side of this chair. <laughs> Wait a second, that was her story. I got to tell my side. But <laughs> Okay, Jackie Laura, please stand over there. <laughs> oh, okay. We should really get backings to that. <laughs> okay, please stand right there. <laughs> Thank you for your generosity. All right, Abby, abominable. Your side of the story. Well, I was I was casually walking home one day, and then Jackie Laura, of course, had to steal my wallet. Oh. You give me your money, punk. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You give me your money, you sorry little wimp. Now oh, I'm gonna tell. No, please don't. Please, I just got that allowance from my oh dear mother who's sick in the hospital. Oh, don't worry about it, punk. If you sue me, I'm telling the court you will that that I'll just lie. Okay, I couldn't finish my sentence, so I'll just say I'll lie. I'll lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. Oh boo hoo hoo. And that was a completely in- <laughs> It was a thoroughly terrifying moment. Yeah, as her lawyer, this is true chance, people. <laughs> that is not true! You ripped my skirt, you tore my earrings, you messed up my hair, and <laughs> she ripped off my frills! <gasps> Look, Abby Abominable, if she stole your wallet, why are you wearing it right now? Um, she gave it back? Likely story. Jackalore, you may sit down. The defendant has been been found guilty. You have been charged $5,000 for your bail from prison. Oh, I know. But that's only my first crime. Yep. Next! <laughs> Next, um, victim is Claudine Wolf. Please stand on the other side of this chair. Come on. <laughs> now, what happened, Claudine Wolf? Well, first things first, she ripped out my arm. Yes, but how? Well, I was wondering where the heck Draculaura was because she was supposed to pick me up for prom. So I was walking to the school to see if she had forgot me and was there already. I would give her a beating. Hmm. Draculaura! Oh, hey Abby. What's I'm up? gonna beat you up. What? No, no, no! Ah, 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 ah. Ah. <laughs> no! <laughs> um. <laughs> That's it. I'm suing you! And that's how Abby Abominable ripped down my arm. What? Are you kidding me? Who's supposed to believe that? Well, the fact that she doesn't have an arm right now is kind of letting me know that that's what happened. Stop moving the chair! Well, I have a different theory. Okay, so. Well, I was walking in my dark alley where I like to go to think about things. Not to look for fights. Who would do that? Mwahaha! Mwahaha! Are you choking? Do you need some help? No! I feel great and powerful! I'm the great Claudini! 
and I will make you disappear on the count of three. One, two, and she did such great arm movement, her arm broke off. Uh, two. <gasps> Don't make me get to three. Two Ooh. and a half. Oh. <laughs> two and a half. Two and three quarters. Two and a half of three quarters. Okay. Three. <gasps> she did such great arm movement. Her arm fell out. <gasps> oh. I'll get you, Abby Abominable. I'll get you. Weep, weep, weep. Then how did I end up in my prom outfit, you dope? You changed clothes. Yeah, guys, as Abby's lawyer, I think that's totally true, because Claudine, I have seen her take magician lessons. Magician lessons? What are you, am I, a nerd? Look, I'm just saying, I've seen you walk into the magician's place. Well, that's because I'm buying I'm buying fake blood to prank my brother. You know, I pretend to cut off my finger, and he really thinks it's true. Then that's why your arm's off. You're fanging it. So you're saying Abby Abominable's story is made up? No! Oh. The defendant? Abby Abominable? Next victim, Laguna Blue, fist up to stand. <laughs> uh, Laguna Blue, what did you experience from Abby Abominable? Well, <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Ab, Laguna, what did happen? Well. <laughs> Uh, see what happens to Laguna in the next episode of Abby Goes to Court.